here with Ashish Gupta of Violin Memory. Um, he's going to tell us a little bit about the company, Violin Memory, and what they do. Great. Thank you, Colleen. So, Violin's been around for about uh, roughly 70 years now, and primarily revolutionizing the way storage is viewed in the data center. And today, everyone's talking about a transformation happening in the data center. In the storage in, in the arena, we're pr pretty much looking at solid state storage. And Violin's at the forefront of delivering what we call the next generation of flash based storage arrays. Um, again, today at Gartner, we, talk, we heard Joe Unsworth talk about transformation happening and, and the idea that SSDs will be prevalent everywhere, whether it's in the traditional legacy based storage arrays to servers out there. Violin fits in that middle arena where we're taking storage at the speed of memory and delivering you memory-like performance, but persistency and reliability of a, of a traditional legacy storage system, a disk-based legacy storage system. However, we want to maintain the economics that those legacy systems have as well. So now you're going to get all the benefits of legacy systems without the drawbacks and all the benefits of memory without the drawbacks. So tell me a little bit about the actual hardware. How many terabytes does a unit hold, et cetera? C certainly. Uh, we have our 6000 series uh, today, which comes in two form factors. It has an uh, MLC version, which gives you up to 32 terabytes in a 3U form factor, and an SLC version, which gives you 16 terabytes in a 3U form factor. Uh, MLC being multi-layer cell, SLC being a single layer cell. The single layer cell actually delivers the high performance numbers. We can do up to a million IOPS and 250 microsecond sustained latencies. On the MLC, we can do about half a million IOPS and about 500 microsecond latencies. And what does that do to the footprint in the data center? How much space is your Great 16 question. terabyte unit? Great question. Uh, so if you look at it from a perspective of uh, you know, IOPS or, or latency, we can replace about you know anywhere from four to six racks of traditional spinning disk equipment with uh, you know one or two U, uh, one or two arrays of our, our system, which are about you know three U and four factors. So in about six U's, you can replace about six racks with of legacy spinning disk. So commensurate power cooling equipment. You know if you look at that, there's a lot of savings out there. But more importantly, it's really the the value that's delivered in the application side. We can reduce latencies to the point where essentially we're making the the, the actual CPUs that those applications are running on much more efficient. So you end up getting those utilizations dropped down to 50%, but you're still actually doing a lot more work. So lower application cost savings from a license reduction perspective, as well as maintenance costs. And what kind of customers are you seeing transition to this kind of storage? We're seeing, I guess, a whole you know, spectrum of adoption, whether it's financial services, retail, banking, uh, you know, you've got telecom, so social media environments, uh, hosted environments. Every sort of customer that's out there looking for faster response times, uh, IOPS issues for our virtual desktop in infrastructure environments. Again, those kind of you know, challenges ex exist across all verticals. As a result, we end up getting you know, interest from every single vertical you can think of. reasons that SAP uh, Ventures is funding Violin is there's, there's uh, a few me mega trends that are occurring. One is uh, in the mobile computing space, uh, one is in digital um, marketing and advertising, um, and, and the other is in just big data analytics, which ties into really both of those. So if you look at mobile, uh, mobile computing, um, you know, the typical uh, online banking now is you're seeing a 300% three, year over year increase, and it's very, very data intensive. Uh, in the digital marketing, it's it's everything from transacting uh, ad services to you know secure inventory on on Google or Facebook. It's a huge media spend from print to digital, and now there's this massive amount of analytics to determine the value of the individual consumer buyer. To date, you um, you know the way that Google structures its its bidding, asking for inventory, is it's in it's in uh, you know sub millisecond, which you can never do from uh, disk disk arrays, okay? Um, so most of these uh, providers that play in that space have written their applications for DRAM. Now, where, what they're experiencing is a server proliferation, not for compute, but for more memory. We're right in the sweet spot where we can, as, uh, as a flash-based primary storage array, what we're giving these companies the ability to, to run against you know, terabytes and terabytes of historical data Right to run real as close to real time analytics as possible, and have persistence that storage that traditional storage provides. So there's a big wave towards the ad servicing, the digital marketing companies um, moving towards flash based systems. How can people find out more about Violin Memory? 
uh, vmem.com, and uh, we have a number of case studies. We talk about our uh, affiliation with SAP and Microsoft and what we do in database acceleration and virtual desktop in addition.